yes. Yes, I think Zig should divorce LLVM and spend forever, however long it takes, uh, getting good code gen so that we have something that isn't LLVM that has good code gen. I think that's what you should do. I was excited and I'm still excited for the for the Rust backend that isn't LLVM, which is called, I forget what it's called, Rust Alternative Code Gen Backend. This is a GCC based backend that Crane Lift. Crane Lift is the thing. I was excited for Crane Lift when it was announced. I'm excited every time there's an announcement around it. My dream is to have something that's not LLVM so that it's not a pile of C++. It's not pretending to support like 200 different targets, but then you find out that it doesn't actually really kind of work the same on different things. LLVM is a C++ compiler without the front end. So I'm super excited about people actually trying to do things. Like I didn't have a lot of respect or interest in Zig. Uh, before that, it was just the, the comp time thing was interesting. Uh, but now, now I'm listening. Now, please, I, so this is not accepted yet. It's just a proposal on the uh, on the issue tracker. But like, yes, 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 do it. It'll be so cool. It's like Ladybird browser. Dude gets three hundred thousand this year to work on a browser, which is the thing everyone tells you not to build. Like it's so big. Why would you? Right, we've already sold the browser in his Chromium or Blink or WebKit or whatever. Yeah, I just I'm always excited when people um, try to build these huge things by themselves over again because like then we learn a bunch of stuff because it's a chance to actually do it different this time. And I I, I want to have more different things. Uh, the downside is that it's gonna piss off everyone because like one of the reasons people were interested in Zig is that because it was using LVM, they were getting uh, C++ compatibility for free, essentially, and that's no longer gonna be the case if they do this. And uh, womp womp game dev, but you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, do it anyway, because like then Zig is actually worth something and, and different and not, you know, a fancy macro system on top of the C++ backend. Um, I don't know. I'm excited. You should totally do it. Uh, I will. I will definitely change my mind on Zig. Not that that matters or should be taken into account. I think it would make Zig interesting. I'm excited about anything that isn't the main thing that everyone's doing. And yeah, I like for there to be different places where research in terms of code gen can happen. And if that's one way it can happen, then that's great. So, yes, ten out of ten. Yes, go for it. That would be amazing. That's all I wanted to say. That's. Just, I made a video just for that. I was just excited. That's it. <laughs>